Today we're going to talk about ghasts. Ghasts are very large jelly-like fish, jelly-like mobs that float through the air and shoot fireballs from their mouths. Their bodies are 4x4 four four block cubes with 9 tentacles-like limbs hanging from the bottom. They first appeared in the Hall of Halloween update. Ghasts are able to spawn anywhere in the nether as long as there's sufficient space and the game is not in peaceful mode. Gas normally float around with their eyes and mouth closed. They open their eyes and mouth when attacking. They make a chirp-like noise when shooting and screaming loudly when taking damage. Um, that, so if you're screaming in the nether, then that means the gas tick is taking damage. The sounds that gas make have, have a minimum intensity regardless of their distance. So they often sound closer than when they're actually far away. Mo mo unlike most other aggressive mobs, the gas does not have a pursuit mode. It does not attempt to draw closer to the player when at long range, and likewise is not particularly likely to float away. Compared to other mobs, the gas has a, has a very long search range, and can target a player up to 100 blocks away. When the player comes within about 16 blocks, the gas will open range and attempt to gain altitude. If a, if a gas fireball hits a portal or close to it, the portal will be closed, requiring reignite or ignition. Play if a player manages to get a gas to fire at the portal while it's closed, it can be reignited using the fireball. The f blocks originally blocks originally ignited once struck. I added an extra hazard to fighting gas over the fire is extinguished um, immediately afterwards because of a bug. The, the minimum block resistance required to absorb all a blast force of the gas fireballs is too much to me meaning fast another less recent box have been destroyed in a fireball explosion. Gas will not fire at the player without line of sight. And this and th this is blocked by glass, leaves, portals, bub or webs, making a safe scenic path in that they are very impossible. When not moving gas will within firing range will face the player giving the impression that they can see through transparent material. Gas within firing range of but will face the player okay. Gas drop gunpowder when killed. Well, this can be hard to collect as it's the only mob that flies. So gas drop gunpowder just like creepers, but it's the only mob that flies. Um um so if you're fighting a gas, then then the gunpowder might fall into an, an inaccessible player. Gas are often considered the most difficult mob to kill out out owing an extra extreme their their attack. Explosive attack power, mobility and flight. So, um Wait, I'm just gonna keep reading this. But it's not a good idea to tackle the sword because because we are not you're gonna it's almost gonna be impossible. it's almost gonna be it's gonna be really hard to tackle the sword because it's flying. It's, it's up in the sky. So so it's best to use a arrow because it's, it's it's like the arrow is possible. The arrow it's possible to kill with an arrow and it's almost it's not very possible to kill with a sword. Now now you can do now um they're extreme attack run explosive crap. They also quite common players and in any exposed area have to deal with them sooner or later and possibly from the moment they step out of a portal. F gas fireballs have a profound effect on the on nether arctic art architecture, making a compelling case to to use only materials resistant to their explosion. For the outer walls and exterior fitting in places where the, the iron might be drawn. So cobblestone is res is resistant to their explosions. So their so explosion will not will not destroy cobblestone. Which is why um Pulsar Jr. used it. As a result of the large shine and extreme unpleasantness of an indoor gas spawn, the primary defense mechanism of building nether becomes enclosure rather than lighting. So they can spawn they can spawn in lighted areas. So the gas fireball attack has it has a stretch has a straight trajectory unaffected by gravity and unlimited or very long range limited in practices only by the confines of the nether caverns. Their explosions can often be heard without the impact being seen. At close range it is the second most powerful mob in Minecraft, second only to the blast of a creeper. A direct hit from point blank range will deal three and a half hearts of damage, but damage decreases with distance known as less if the player is simply building in the nether. Well there might be something that may be moving in the keep reading to get the good information. The player can reflect fireballs by hitting them with anything before they impact, even bare hands. Because of their low speed, spamming mouse clips, spamming mouse clips is often enough to deflect any given attack. It is not possible to kill ghasts by reflecting their attacks at back at them, even considering the low health and high attack damage. Even though you can still hear the ghasts hurt clip being played in one hit, you can make so you so when you when you hit them when you hit the fireball back at them it doesn't hurt them. You can make a fireball easily reflected. 
you can make a, you can make a fireball easily reflect in the direction you want by shooting an arrow, fishing rod, or snowball at the fireball. This relationship goes both ways that a gas constant stream of fireballs may well interfere with the firing arc of your bow. Most gasts are are killed made with the bow and arrows for obvious reasons, but gas can be cold to the mule up and the player can bring it to bear before the gas can draw away. Gasts are highly vulnerable when caught on the ground. When caught in the ground, since their attacks can be deflected with and their health is quite low. A single blow from a diamond sword will destroy one. Oh really? So the gas so the gas is close enough you can kill with a diamond sword. It is possible to use a fishing rod to draw a gas near enough to hit with a sword. Close gas is, is also near easier to hit with a bow, but though reaction time against its fireball is likewise lessened. When aiming your bow, be sure to lead your shots as, as gas can quickly change direction and move quickly. It, it is usually necessary to aim low hydroxy. More possible having your wait, excuse me. It says ga re 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 resistance to fire. Gasts may also be set on fire, but fire and lava don't actually damage them. A similar effect is seen as zombie pigmen. When gas is caught in lava, its movement is impeded, and then, then they can be easily targeted by arrows. It is disputed that gas can be killed by lava or fire if continuously re-exposed. This is, this is achieved by um, by gas by gas floating in and out of lava. There have been reports of zombie pigmen dying while in lava due to the fact that they bob in and out of lava, which raises doubt that gas and zombie pigmen are, com are completely lava-proof. Despite being fireproof, gas and zombie pigmen are completely drowning if underwater lava for too long. This means that they like to put on the object are require air to live. Two units of gunpowder. So let's go find a gas. Okay, that that, that sound you hear is a gas. I think. Gas. Scary! Oh look, some big man. I'm not gonna kill those. Okay, once again. Haha, <laughs> 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 killed it. That was a ghast. Let's kill one more ghast. Hey. <laughs> Oh, come on! Why do I have 64 arrows? That's, oh, yeah, I cheated. I get those. Oh my gosh! Ah, that was near. Okay, so yeah, that's, 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 that's a gas. Bye guys.